Okay. Okay, all good. So in copy trading, there are good experiences and there are also bad experiences in copy trading. So how can we avoid bad experiences? Okay. So how can we avoid those bad experiences in copy trading like wiping out our account? Uh, there is an option in copy trading that we can minimize our risk and still maximize our profit. Because we know in every investment, there is always a risk. Okay, so how can we do that? So, so first, sorry, if you are going to look for a copy, copy trader, your first step is to look for a copier that has a big PNL. Okay, it has a bigger PNL. So you, it can give you assurance that this person is prioritizing his copier than him. Okay. Okay. So let's try to look. Okay. Okay. So you can see here the C++. Okay. We can evaluate, start evaluating uh, the, the things that we see. Okay. You can see the C++. The copier is negative 28,000. While him making $771. So based from this, you can say that this person's priority is, is his profit. Okay? His profit and not the copy copier. So you need to avoid this kind of copy trader. Okay? They don't want to lose money, but it's okay with them if the copier will lose money. Okay? And even the Ant TV... You can see that 46,000 copier in negative. But he made at least a million already for his personal personal trade. Okay? So, he is trying to salvage his trade. Okay? He, he turns into Hudler. Okay, let's click this one. He turns into Hudler when his, when his position is in not good condition. Look at the orders right here. Okay, in orders, you see negative 400%. That shows he has been holding this. Okay, and look at it. It's isolated. It, that's scary right there. He has, using, he has been using isolated, but he, he pulled it out to 400%. That means he's always adding margin so that he will not get liquidated. And look at his long position. This is 42,000 Bitcoin. <laughs> Since when? It's March 9. Okay? You can just imagine if you have followed him since March 9, you must have been liquidated already. If you are not, if you don't edit your settings. Okay? If you have not edited your settings. Okay. Let me continue. Okay. So you can see here, that's, that's running all. Okay? So his followers are already have already taken the loss but he's not willing to take the loss so he just keep it open maybe he has a deep pocket yeah i think he has a deep pocket because he made already 1.1 million <laughs> so if you are copying this person and you only have 100 dollar, what would most likely happen to you okay can anyone guess what would most likely happen to you okay Ro albert Okay, we will give you a role later, okay? Liquidate. That's right. You will get liquidated, okay? And you will not like this kind of trader. So you need to avoid people who don't prioritize copy, copier, okay? So if you are a trader, you have other strategy. But if you are a copy trader, you need to not focus on your profit, but focus on the profit of your copier, okay? Okay, so right now here, he has three running trades. So this one is in 20,994, 20,300, 20,222. So all in profit, two little leverages. So this person is a huddler. It's like a positional trader. It's like a swing trader. Okay, some... So he's trying to make a position and then when it's in negative, we will just keep adding funds. Okay, and liquidating all the copier. Okay, so yeah. History. Let's check his history. Okay, he has some quick trades. 
Okay, anyway, so we are just we are, we are not yet in that in that stage. So we are just looking at some negative copier and then they have positive PNL. Okay, so watch out with those kind of people. Okay, that's a warning sign right away for you. Even this riches, okay, even this riches has a one ten thousand. You might get tempted to copy riches. But when you look at the account, even Plutocrat has a open one one he still has one one position for followers. If you follow them, you will get you might get tracked with them because they are usually having some deep deep pockets. Okay, let's look at the orders. Okay. They have a negative, they just had a the negative. Okay, the ninety percent not liquidated yet. Okay, so plutocrat. Okay, here lucky grandpa. Lucky grandpa showed up again. Look at the lucky grandpa. So lucky grandpa is the tutorial that I gave. So we'll do lucky grandpa again. Look at lucky grandpa. He doesn't even have much capital in his copy trade, but he has made his copy year eleven thousand three hundred fourteen. Okay, so he made for his copy year 11,314. What does this mean? It means his priority is his followers. Okay, not him. Okay, even if he have, he have made money, his focus because he can make 8% in any, every copy, every copy, so 475. Okay, so 475 followers. Let's pull out some calculator here. Okay, 475. So let's say he has $100 copy here. And then those who they make at least 30%. So they make $30 and then he gets 8%. So that would mean 08. So he makes $2.4 for a $30 profit from a $100 copy. Okay, 30% if he sells in 30%. 2.4 and then you multiply it to 475 people. So imagine in every time he closes a position, he makes $1,000. So is it bad to make a $1,000 when even you don't have even a capital? That's why I'm telling you, if you get our strategy, the scalper strategy, and then you start liking it, you can apply as copy trader and people will copy you, okay? And as they copy you, you can make money as big as this one with just one trade, okay? When people copies you, the 475 people just copies you and you make 1,140, okay? So there's a different mindset for a trader and a copy trader. If you are a copy trader already, you'll focus on the profit that you're community mix okay okay so how are we going to find the best he believes that btc will will be will back on top yeah so yeah but it it will take long and people will get like liquidated before taking profit again from the 42000 position okay so if you want to follow a person you look at the chart and then you adjust the seven days into third one month. Okay? So you see a bigger picture of the chart. So he hasn't been trading in the past. Or if he was trading, uh, not much. He's just fresh from liquidated, I guess, because of the massive pump that his short got, got liquidated, I guess. Okay, so total PL, total PL, you adjust it also to 30 days. Okay, so you can see he started from negative 82. Now he is going back up. Okay, he is recovering. Now he is in $25. So at least he's back in $25. Okay, and then in the variety of preference, you may adjust it to 30 also. So you know what he's trading. So he, he used to trade Ethereum. He likes Ethereum. Okay, 80% of his trade is Ethereum. 
and 19% is BTC. Okay? And then position, duration. This is crucial, okay? Especially if you have a little funds, okay? So the highest is 1.3 hours, okay? That means his position takes only 1 hour and 30 minutes. He closes his position within 1 hour and 30 minutes. Okay, so that means this man is a scalper. This grandpa, okay, he's already a grandpa, lucky grandpa. <laughs> so if he's grandpa, maybe this is uh, uh, already an experienced trader. More than 10,000 hours, okay? Okay, anyway, so you can see the position duration and then in the volume, you can see that he rested and then he started trading again, okay? So yeah, so that's what we see in his account. So you just adjust all in one month so you know that you are seeing a real picture. Okay? Okay. And then let's move to the data. In the data, we see that his ROI is 5,000%. His trading order is 246. His accumulative followers is 2,314. Okay, so many followers already. And then... And then total PNL 25 gains is 240 and loss is six. Okay, he has six losses in his trade. Okay. This is all okay. And then in order, there is no open position now. Share, shared trades, no open position. In history, you can see his trade. Okay, this is his trades. Okay, in his trades, you can see that he takes profit right now in 30%. Okay, so when he reaches 30, is securing profit right away. Okay? That's why if you notice his trade, 12, 0, 6, 27 seconds. Okay? And then he closes 12, 17, 16 seconds. How many minutes did he trade? 11 minutes, right? So, he traded his Ethereum long 50x, 11 minutes only. Okay? And look at this one. He has another open position, 1470. The first open was 1469. The next open was 1470. That means when he opens, he opens so many with just the same position. Okay, so he can make more. Okay, maybe he's just opening for the minimum, minimum trade only. For example, if they can, if the copy trader can open one dollar position, he will open right away. He will open right away and then he will open. He will just click market, 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 market. How many market did he click? Let me check. 14, 6, 9.99, 14, 7, 14, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Imagine he's opening 10 position Ethereum at the same time. Okay, so maybe just one dollar, one dollar position only, just for his copier to make money, and then he has taken profit in thirty percent. So let's multiply the thirty percent. How many percent would that be? Thirty times ten. So that's three hundred percent. Okay, so he was able to make a three hundred percent profit from one person. Thirty times ten position. So it's like a 300 in total, right? And so if, the, if he is able to make 300, so from 100, you times 3 for that 300. So their 100 turned into 300, okay? So they made $300 from their $100. So this 300 right now, he makes 8%, 0 0.08. Now he makes $24 for one person. Now we multiply it to 475. Now he makes 11,400 for that Ethereum 10 position only. And he has 475 followers. Quick money, right? And how many, how long did that trade last? 11 minutes. When the 11 minutes came, he started closing, closing, closing. Look at the closing price. It's all the same. 12, 17, 16. That means close all. Okay. He just clicked the close all and then took profit everything. And then he just saw in his account the profit that he made from his copier. 
Okay. So uh, AC, eleven thousand four hundred dollar. If you multiply it in peso, he made in eleven minutes six hundred thirty-eight thousand peso. So who would who would want to have that kind of income in copy trading? Okay. Do we have in our community who wants to be a? You are not yet a. You are not yet in FTMO, but you can make this one already. Okay. So that's why I'm encouraging our community. Yeah, you just keep on honing your skills because there are so many ways to make money once you have the discipline already in how to make money. Okay? How to how to trade. Okay? Okay, going back. Okay, so these are his profit and BTC. The same with BTC. He closed also the BTC. BTC, same opening also. How many positions did he open? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So he has a 10 position. Oh, so 20 position. But this one, the max is 28%. So 20% times 10. So he made at least 200% from the open... The, the closing position of BTC. So overall, he has made 500%. Okay, 500%. 300 in Ethereum, 200% in, 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 in BTC. Okay, so 500, you multiply it 475. I oh, know, 500 times 008, 40, and then times 475. So he made 19,000 from that trade. Okay. 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 Going back here. Let's check also his loss. Okay. So it will be fair and realistic. Let's look at his loss. And you see also he closes even in 6%. Okay. When he is not that sure. Maybe he, I don't know yet his strategy. But he has his strategy when he see. And he takes profit right away. When it's at the opposite direction already. Okay, let's look at the loss that he made. His loss also are huge. Okay, because he seldom lose. So he tried really to... Here. So this is his losses. 900%. 900%. 900%. 900%. 1,400%. 1,400%. 1, I think this is where he wiped out his account. <laughs> That's why right now he is just having $25 PNL because all his winnings has, was transferred here. Okay. This is the sad, sad thing when you try to rescue a, a losing trade. Okay. Because you don't want to harm your winning streak. You don't want to harm your, you don't want to harm your no loss account. And now you're going to experience loss. You keep on rescuing it. You keep on rescuing it. You keep on adding funds. You keep on adding funds. Now the your hard-earned money for one year has been sucked. It has been sucked by this. How many loss? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. His six losses might have sucked all his profit. Okay, because this is cross. So, yeah. It might have, and actually it has sucked really because he only have 25 PNL now, $25 PNL. Okay, so he was the one trying to rescue his account. So that's sad. So now my question and your question in mind, I will, uh, should, I, should we still copy this kind of person, sir, when he has so huge loss? Okay, should we still copy this kind of person? The good thing is there is a settings in your copy trade that you will not lose 1,400%. Okay? You don't have to lose 1,400%. Okay? And then as I usually tell, I say to people, you don't throw the baby with the dirty bath water. Okay? You take the baby and then you throw the, the bath water. Okay? So it doesn't mean that it, he has some these huge losses. You will you will throw him altogether. You will not consider him in copying, okay? Because you can still make money from his skills in trading, okay? You can see that he quick he quickly take profit, 
it, with this small take profit, he was able to give the community a huge profit. People like him because of the huge profit that he gave them. Okay? So, that's in the order part. We will go to the copy trading part, okay? And now, let's go to copy year. So, look at the copy year here. This copy year has made 11,000. This copy year made 1,000. This copy year made 700. This one 700. This one 600. This one 400. This one 399. Okay. So, let's see if there are people who are at loss. Negative. Okay, the, it's up to here only. Show top 50, top 50 rankings only. Okay, so in data, we have checked already. The chart, we have checked already. Okay, so now you want to copy this person. Okay, let's try to click copy. Okay, I have a tutorial already. That's why it has a copy already. But we're gonna... Okay, lucky grandpa profit ratio. He will make 8% from the copied, copier. So it means if... If, if you are the one copying him, and then, okay, let me show you. If you are the one copying him, you place $100, and then he closed in 30%. So you made $30. And now from $30, he, he gets his cut, 2.4. So now, instead of making $30, you less the 2.4. Okay, so less 30, so you have 27.6. And some fees from entry and entry and entry and and take profit. Then let's say another fees there. Okay, so maybe you get twenty seven or twenty six, something like that for the fees. If he uses market order, okay, so market order has bigger has bigger fees. Okay, okay, so yeah, so this will be your profit if he if he takes in in the in the copy okay in the in the 100 trade okay so now you are going to copy him so this is what you see this is advanced setting let me adjust it into this is the standard setting okay and he has all this coin and you know him already because you look at his background so now instead of copying all these coins you don't have to you just unclick them Okay, someone's calling. Lodi, can you take the call from the other phone? Okay. So, yeah. So, BTC, USDT. Okay, so this is the two that you will be copying. So, in copy trading, you don't only put money right away. You need to get to know the person you are copying. Now, you have observed the trades. So, now you know that he opens 10 trades. So your question, the question is, are you able to copy all the 10 trades? Okay. Are you able to copy all the 10 trades? When he has, when he opens a enter copy limit. Okay. So now we are going to put in the fixed amount or magnification. So we choose the fixed amount. Okay. So, for example, you the minimum is $10. So, let's say you want to copy in $10. Okay. And then you're going to have a $10 copy. Okay. And when he trades, you will be copying a $10. Okay. And then you adjust. We have a SL, TP, and MAX. Okay. SL, TP, and MAX. Hello to our newcomers here. Okay, all good. Hello to our 16 viewers, our 16 learners here. Okay, now, now you have this SL, which stands for stop loss. TP stands for take profit and max. Max stands for how much you are willing to invest to this person. Okay, so let's say if you don't edit the max, it will suck your account. Okay. And then you wake up in the morning, you don't have money anymore. It's not the trader's fault because that's his personality in trading. It is your fault because you have not adjusted the max amount that they can copy. Okay? Okay. Let's make it clear. 
So let's say you just let 100 budget for that person. Okay? So you trust him that you want to give him 100. And then you are copying only $10. Okay? By the way, to have a copy trading, you need at least $100 for a copy trading. Okay? Of course, the minimum is 10 but they have this notification that will tell you Lodi, the, the pets are playing. Okay. Sorry about that. So, so where are we already? <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> what I'm talking about now? Can anyone? <laughs> Ma'am Angela, can you remind me where I'm? Okay, they have limit. Okay. Okay. So, yung sa limit. Okay. So, you limit your setup. Meaning, even if it trades 1 million trades, even if it trades 10, 20 trades, because 10 in BTC and then 10 in, 10 in Ethereum, if you just set up 100 and then you have $10, then it's 10 trades, you will be able to copy it. <laughs> Why? Because it's 100. 10 divided by 100, 100 divided by 10. 100 divided by 10. So you can copy all the trades that he will be making because you can cover the 10 trades. Okay? Okay. So in copy trading, you don't only just copy the person by putting money. You need to get to know the person first. Who is this person I'm following? So, of course, you cannot follow him in TikTok, Twitter, or somewhere. You can get to know the person by the way he trades. Okay? And you look at, oh, all the same entries, but 10 open trades. Okay? So, he's just market, 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 market. He just counts to 10. Market, 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 market. And then BTC, market, market, market. Maybe he saw in his chart, it's a buying position already. So, let's market, market, market. Okay? It's quite fast. So, maybe he's using bots. Okay? By the way, uh, this one, this, this, okay, what's this? This BitGet has API. When it says API, you can use third third party application to control your BitGet. So that means this BitGet is open for control from the bots. And to tell you, these copy traders are using bots. Okay? So their entries are triggered. So the bots will just execute. That's why it's quite fast also. Okay? It's it's fast also. Yeah, milliseconds also their entries. Maybe they have just one click from their bot and then it will trigger all their position right away. And then for close, maybe they just do it manual or they let, let the bot. Okay, so that's another thing. I have spoken already to our partner also in BitGet. I want them to partner also with 3Kamas. 3Kamas is also using bots. And I'm, I'm more familiar with 3Kamas. And once they get to partner there, I will teach you also how to make money with the bots, okay? Okay, anyway, going back. So you get a 100 max. So that means if you have 1,000 in your account, they will not eat your 1,000, okay? It will not try to eat 1,000. It will just eat 100 because you are feeding him only 100, okay? And then for your stop loss, now your stop loss. They have cross, okay? So when it's cross... That means, that means they are, if it's a cross, that means when they when you place a $10 position, okay, $10 position, when they have a $10 position, it will not only eat your $10 position, it will eat your whole account. What is your whole account? This 100 max. Okay? Take note of that. When you have a $10 position, for example, he just opened one position, it will eat up to $100. So you have $10. Okay, let's have $10. And then how much do you have? $100. So that would mean for your account to get a wipe out, you need, let's say, 
to wipe out your 100 from 10, I think it's times times 10, right? So that would mean this is a this is a 1,000%. It will take them 1,000% to wipe out your $10 account. Okay, 1,000% loss. Okay? So let me do it in the math. If you... If I put it one one times one, this is one hundred percent. If I do one ten times two, this is two hundred percent. Okay, and so if I put ten, that's one thousand percent. So this means your stop loss, your stop loss percentage to wipe your account takes one thousand percent. Now you don't want one thousand percent, of course. Okay. So you want only to raise the $10 that you are trading, right? So if you are following, if you are following, you have a you have a $10 trade. Okay? You just want to raise the $10. So how much stop loss do you have to set up? So 100 times 0 0.1 is 10. So that means you can set up your stop loss into 10%. Okay? Okay. Let's adjust this to 10%. So if it's 10%, okay, there is two scenario that will happen from here. If you place it 10% stop loss and you have 100 max, that would mean your $10 trade needs a, okay, your $10 trade needs, you, have, you need to have at least $100. Okay, so that your stop loss will take you 100% before it gets wiped out your $10 trade. Okay, so this 10% stop loss will only work. Okay, let me make it clear. Let me make it clear. Your $10 will only be working stop loss if he only opens one position. Okay, so if he opens 10 position, this 10% will become too little. Okay? Because, for example, he opens he opens 10 positions at the same time. That would mean he max out your 100. So that would mean they are alone. The $10 is alone. Even if it is cross margin, he doesn't have any backup of $90. He doesn't have backup $90. Because the max has been maxed out because... The trader opened 10 position. Okay. I will answer the question after we finish this one. Okay. Okay. So, are you with me? Let me pause for a while. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Or you are getting lost? <laughs> are you getting lost? Let me see some comment. Let me see some message if you are following. Okay, so your question, Josh, okay, your question is related to the max, okay? You have not set up, I guess, the max. That's why it took all your funds, okay? Especially if you only have less than 100, it will take all less than 100, okay? Because it's it has a minimum of 100, okay? Okay, so... No, no, no reaction from our stop loss. So, in this case, we are following Lucky Grandpa. You know that he is always opening 10 position. He doesn't open one position. So, with that in mind, stop loss should be adjusted accordingly. So, you put your stop loss in, into 80% or 85% before liquidation. Okay, before liquidation, 85%. Because since he click. 10 trades at the same time, that would mean your risk, you are going to risk your $10 every trade and you're going to risk the $100 all because it's going to open 10 position anyway. Okay? And then your take profit, you don't have to adjust it. Just leave the trader for the take profit. The stop loss only, you play with the stop loss. Okay? Meaning the stop loss is situational. If you know the trader you are copying, you adjust the stop loss. Okay, you adjust the stop loss 
according to his trading strategy, trading style. He opens 10 position. So that means you're going to give a stop loss of 85% because he's going to max out your $100 right away if you are copying $10 only. Okay? So if you have another person copying, okay, maybe for those who wants to copy, I can give you a quick advice. Since you are a member in our practical group, you got the benefit of, you can send the name of the person in our Discord and then I will background check the one that you suggested. Okay? And then I will tell you how much stop loss you should give this person or how much does he open, how many does he open at the same time? Like, does he open 20 trades at the same time? So, I will advise how ma max, maximum, and then the minimum that you place for entry. And then, yeah. So, I can, I can suggest the stop loss and the max position you add. Okay? So, do you want that? Is Lucky Grandpa okay to follow? Yeah, I recommend Lucky Grandpa. If you set it up like this one. Okay? If you set it up like this one and you just give him a max of 100. Yeah. He's, he's good to follow because he just trade for, for 11 minutes. <laughs> he takes profit right away. Meaning he is a scalper. His trade are scalping. Okay? He changed his strategy, by the way. If you notice, in the past, he has different strategy. Now, he is a scalper. Ilan ba dapat laman ng futures pag ganyan setup? So, for copy trading, if you really want to make money as passive income, you put at least $500 for copy trading only. Okay? You just leave it for copy trading. And then, when you leave $500 for copy trading, you don't let one person use your $500 because it will just be used by liquidation. You just give them $100. Okay? Meaning, with your $500, you are giving them $100. You have a buffer of $400. Okay? And you cannot give them $500 because you will observe them in the first week. If you like what they have done, then you can trust and then you, you adjust your max into $200. Okay, I like you. So I'm gonna make it $200. And then you adjust your stop loss again. Because he is, it's 200 and he opens 10. So you divide it by 2 from 85. How much are you going to put your stop loss? 85 would be 43 something. Okay, like 43 stop loss. And then your fixed amount would become 20 because you give them 200 already. Okay. So, as you like the performance of the trader, the one that you're copying, you slowly adjust it. And then after a week, you look at the portfolio. Okay, you made money. That's great. And then you take out the profit and then you leave the capital again. Okay? It's not a YOLO copy trading the way you do your personal trading. <laughs> you YOLO your personal trading. And now you do copy trading. You do copy trading like a professional day trader. You always apply risk management because, again, I repeat, in trading, those who make money are risk managers. Okay? And those who lose money are those YOLO people, those who gamble. Okay? They don't mind risk. risk. Okay? Yeah? Our trades are not 100% accurate. That's why we need risk management. Okay. So this is the basic setup. All the setup now will look like this. Okay? So I haven't saved it. So let me adjust it. 100. Stop loss for this one is 85. Okay. Okay, because he opens 10 position at the same time. And then this will take place for BTC and Ethereum already. Okay? So I have saved it. And then if I, if I click save, it will show like this one. Okay? The save. 85%, 85%. Fixed amount. Okay, I edited it into 20. I'm going to move it to 10. Okay, and then save. Okay. Once you save, then it's already there. It's already followed. And if you want to edit, you just edit it. Advanced settings. This one for advanced settings. Okay, now I'm going to teach you for advanced settings. Margin. Use USDT. Okay. 
not follow the trader. Always USDT. Okay, leverage by trader. Okay, this is where it becomes tricky. Okay, we have a member who lost in copy trading. Okay, maybe you know it already. What happens? Because they do their own specific leverage according they adjusted to according to the specified leverage so so according to the specified leverage or this one future setting what's your setting in your future you are always a a 100x person a 85x person and then your trader has computed the position based on a 30x position so what happens to you the trader makes money and you don't make money. Why? Because you have your own leverage. Leverage plays role in stop loss area. Okay? Someone asked me in our trade today, Sir, what happens if I don't follow your 85x? Okay, so this is like a copy trading, right? But it's manual. So I told him, if you don't follow my 85x leverage, you will not maximize the profit. Okay, you will not maximize the profit, I told him. And then, uh, that's it. If you make your leverage higher, that's not good because you will get liquid, li uh, liquidated before it hits your stop loss. Because I measured my, my leverage that I can put my stop loss in that area. How frequent do we need to monitor the one that we copy trade, sir? Depends on how... You, Look at the, the the trading time. Look at this trading time. Sometimes they have trading time. If he opens every 12 noon, so you just check in 1 p.m. after he trades. And don't close, don't close position. You just let the, the copy trader do the closing. Okay, because you are not the one who did the TA. He is the one who did the TA. And why are you closing on your own? You are just riding with this TA. Okay. So don't let your emotion get into it. Okay? It's not the it's not you who did the TA. He did the TA. So you trust his TA. Okay? So so your leverage, I advise if you want really to make money, you follow the leverage by trader. So if the trader has a 50x, so you just do the 50x. It's okay anyway. In his 50x trade, he he has a 30% profit still. Okay, so that means you also make 30%. Okay, okay, all right. So here, this is advanced and it's valid fixed investment to 50. You just adjust it into $10. Okay, USDT. Okay, so $10 and then risk management. This is in advance, okay? So you adjust this one into 100. Don't you forget to adjust this because it will wipe your account <laughs> if you just let them do their thing uh, they will wipe your account okay so you always put the max 100 if you are only copying for ten dollar okay and then for ethereum follow trader leverage by trade and then leverage by trader okay you like it and then ten dollar and then your risk max this is ethereum so you give another 100 for this person and then your stop loss is 85 percent okay you ask me sir why are we not using the 10 percent that you said since it's cross margin since it's cross margin so if you use 10 percent and he used the 100 the 10 percent of 10 dollar is what one dollar right that means if you get negative one dollar, you will get you will hit your stop loss right away. Okay, so that's a big trouble if you hit your stop loss in one in ten percent move. So that's a big trouble because once you use the one hundred dollar, it turned your position like a isolated position because they you only have ten dollar each. It has been divided to ten because you know, uh, uh grandpa. You know him that when he opens, he opens 10 trades at the same time. Okay? Because you know him. That's the good thing there. Okay? Okay, let's confirm. Okay. And then this is the setup now. Save. 
Okay, 100 max, 100 max. Leverage by trader, follow trader, fix amount, and then confirm. Okay. So, yeah, you are copying now Lucky Grandpa. So, I think that's it for our session. Oh, still one hour, huh? <laughs> okay. And I would like you, since you are in our community, let me end my share screen here. So, I can... You can drop your question, okay? So, I would like you to... I would like you to... When you see some, when you see some, when you see some traders, copy trader, worth copying, you drop your suggestion in the how to be, uh, this one, uh, wait, how to look for copy trader. This one you can type here. Okay. So this one you can type here. So that means you can, you can drop, you drop here. You say, Coach, can you check this one out? How do you think we should settle with this person? How do we, you think how we can copy this person? Okay, how, what kind of setup do we need? Okay, so we will check it out. And then we look at in his trades, how many trades he make in just one, 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 one sitting. Okay, and then, yeah, we do it. Okay, so, so that if we get at least, let's say we find at least 10 people we can copy trade for our community. Uh, that's a good profit already. And all those 10, we have a different setup for each. Okay. So right now we have Lucky Grandpa. Okay. Let me Lucky Grandpa. Grandpa. Okay. Set up $10. And then 85% SL. And then max 100. And then we'll give, we'll drop some detail. The detail would be he opens 10 trades at the same time. Okay. He uses, he trades Ethereum and BTC at the same time. At the same time. So now we have a profile of grandpa. Oh, wow. <laughs> So in just look, in just a quick look, okay. So Lucky Grandpa set up $10 and then 85. Of course, you can make it bigger if you have a bigger capital for, for Lucky Grandpa. Okay, I'm just setting up for $10. But if it takes profit in 30%, if you have lower capital, then you can start with 100. Okay, if you make it a little bigger and bigger, then you can continue growing your capital in capital trading. Okay, because this is passive income. Okay, this is passive income. Okay, so if he had a bad day and then he decided to close, that's why you check every, maybe every, every, every 1 p.m. So you know what happened to his trade. Okay, so if you saw, oh, I made like 30%, but the fees are this and that. I think I, I made a little. The fees took my profit. So I think I need to make my, my copying a little bigger, so not to 10 anymore. So you make it 20. So you adjust it to 20. And so you adjust your max also to 200. Okay? So that when he opens 10 position, all position will be filled. Okay? And then you make money. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far in copy trading? I will be uploading, and I'm interested in uploading this to our... In our... What if we copy trade 10 of them and then we place entry on market sabay-sabay? What will happen? Okay. What if we copy trade 10 of them and then they place entry on market sabay-sabay? What will happen? Okay. So 10 different people. So the setup would be the $100 that you put max, it's only for that person budget. Okay, that budget is for our grandpa only. This budget is for grandpa. Okay. Okay, let me open my, my share screen again here. Okay, let me share my share screen again. Share screen, start. Okay. 
So the 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 budget that you have, then the one hundred dollar is for lucky grandpa only. So if you start copying others, okay, let's say you copy. Okay, this is just example. Okay, uh, we'll try to scan, scan, scan. Okay, uh, we we will not go into detail, so we just click someone. Okay, let's say we'll just click this chill trader. So you copy, and then if you want advanced setting, then advance. Okay, and then you fix, then ten, and then here the one hundred. So this is your budget. This is your budget for this is your budget for this person. Okay, chill trader, right? This is chill trader. So if you confirm it, then you have your budget for chill trader is two hundred dollar. One hundred for BTC and then one hundred for Ethereum. That's your budget for chill trader. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? Did I make it clear, Josh? That's chill trader, okay? And then if you want to find your copy trade, you just my copy trades. You just click it and then my trader, you see Lucky Grandpa. Okay. And then you just edit if you want to adjust something. Okay. Okay. I hope I answered your question. Is the 10 USDT fix will be used in one position only? Yeah. One position only, 10 USDT. Okay. Is the 10 USDT in fix will be used in one position only? Yeah, one position. So if he opens 10, he will use your 100. 10, 10, 10, 10. What if $20 with five position? Of course, if you only have $100, you can, you can only copy up to five position. The next five position he drops, you will not be able to copy it. Okay? So that's also possible jumps. Nice. Okay? So that's also possible. If you know already he opens 10 position and then you want you want you want to copy just the five position $20 that's also fine okay but since you know the person already I think it's good if you write the whole trade if he opens so that there will be no problem with the there you don't get any notification that this says uh, your margin is not enough to copy all the trades okay Something like that. So 10 different people, you have 10 different budget. So right now, because you they are trading to two, two BTC and Ethereum, that means you are spending $20, $200 each. For, for, for Lucky Grandpa, you gave a budget of $200. 100 BTC, 100 Ethereum. Kaya pala, dami kong notification. That's right, because your budget is not enough. You only have $50 and then you copy trade. Uh, you will get notification telling you you are at risk of something because you're, you are not uh, your copy trade. There is a, at least $100. Okay. And then it might not even trigger a copy trade. Okay. That's sad also if you will not be able to trigger. Okay. So you have separate budget for every copy trade. That's right. That's right. You got it right. Kaya pala dami kong notification. Yes. Noted. Okay. Did I make it clear? That's why I always say, uh, don't throw the baby with the bathwater. Okay? You got lost. You lose money in copy trade and then you disregard copy trading already. You just lose once. You just lose twice and you did not study why you lose. You always need to study why you lose and then you get to know the person you're copying. You just don't, don't just look the percentage, the PNL, the dollar that they made. You need to get to know what's inside the mind of that person. Kung my 10 position siya and my fixed amount is $10, my max is 100 So he will use $10 per position. Tama po ba? You got it right. R.O. Albert, that's right. Okay? So yeah, this is passive. While you are sleeping, you can make money. Okay? So now, you have lower your risk. You have lower your risk and you have maximized your profit. That's the lucky. Si Lucky Grandpa sa ngayon, pinakamaganda mong nakita, sir. I didn't have much time to check. I just check it for now because someone asked how to look for copy trader. So I look, I look, and I saw copy, cap, uh, Lucky Grandpa. So I check, I check. I think it's, it's fine with me. I think I like his strategy. So yeah.
I, I like his strategy because it's only 11 minutes. That fits for our budget, right? What if we copy someone who will close position after a month? <laughs> what will happen to your $100? You will not even make money in, in after a month, right? Yeah. So we want someone who will always do the scalping. Money, money, money. Yeah. So if you find someone, of course, if we all look for uh, good traders, that's better. So if you find someone, you just suggest it and then we'll check it out. And then since all of you are here and the admins are also here, the admins can also help check. Okay, I gave you already how to how to how to screen. Okay. They are in the screening zone. Once they pass our screening, then we can copy them. And then we will make together money with them. And if they have a bad trade, oh, we lose together also. <laughs> All right. My jacket ka. <laughs> Bigyan ng jacket yan. All right. Yung hindi sana nagmo-multi entry masyado madami sang po ah. Uh, this person, lucky grandpa, you know him. He is having 10 entries. Um, I think he knows what he's doing and he wants just to make more. Okay? He wants to make more, that's why he makes 10 entries right away. That's why you adjust the one you follow. If you find someone that will just get one entry, oh that's fine also. But lucky grandpa is having 10. So yeah, isolated and scalping. Per day, yang pagka copy trade, sir. Depende sa copy trader. It depends on the copy trader. But lucky grandpa seems trading every day. 12 noon. Okay? Pakicheck po yung shadow. 1, 2, 3, 4. What's shadow? 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it a trader? Okay. You just take a screenshot of their names and then you drop it. You drop it in our Discord. Okay? And if you think uh, this is a good passive income, you have set up your max, you have set up your minimum copy. And then if you have a 500, you just let them use the 100. And then you observe it. And then you keep just doubling slowly. Okay? Sana noon ko panalaman, haha, nag na ako. Uh, you already know. But you just got wrecked with them. Okay? So at least now I gave you a proper tutorial. So yeah. I am a day trader, but I also want to make passive income. It's also tiring to always do my TA, right? So it's also good to make from someone's TA also. Yeah. <laughs> you see, when uh, I uh, when Sir Ian was with us, I also I also enter his 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 entries. I also trade his entries. Yeah. So when when you get disappointed, when you lose money, I also get disappointed also. And then I told myself I should have not copied. <laughs> the same the same with me so now i understand your feeling when i give you a bad entry and then you lose money okay okay nag enjoy si coach sa topic for tonight oh sorry 914 already yeah i need to finish the specific for copy trading okay okay i think we're over we're done already all good i think okay okay thank you sir sa zoom yeah thank you for, thank you also I uh, will gonna this is recorded so yeah I think we I can upload this to to YouTube and then we will use it to our Discord. I cannot upload this in in raw in Discord because there's limit in Discord so I might upload it first in YouTube okay. Yeah so we can just we can just make more. Okay thank you sir RJ you're the best you're the best too okay TY TY okay Oh, we're not able to check the 9 p.m. signal. Is there a confirmation in 9 p.m.? Oh, green, red, red, green. Oh, it's in. It's not confirmed. Not confirmed for 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah, not confirmed in 9 p.m. also. Okay, congratulations to all who made money with our signal and also for our copy trade. Looking forward that you don't give up on copy trade. So when somebody tells you negative in copy trading, don't listen to that. Okay, he, he, just, he just missed how to use the, the copy trading. Okay, so you just, you, just, you just teach the person how to do it. Okay, we'll wait for the list na pwede kopyahin. Yeah, so you can start with... Grandpa. What's his name again? Grandpa? Lucky Grandpa. Yeah, you can start with Lucky Grandpa. He still has at least how many available slots for Lucky Grandpa? Lucky Grandpa. 
I don't know how many he has. I think 475. So you can, there's still at least 125. Okay. Not Lucky G. Yeah, not Lucky G. Just Grandpa. Okay, okay, okay. All the best, everyone. Stay safe, trade safer. Cheers, cheers. Let's make more money, okay? All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'll make another group here for post your profit. So I can here and then create channel, post your profit. So you, everyone can see your profit also. Just profit here, channel, okay? Okay, this is public channel, so everyone can post here. Post your profit. Okay, all right. All the best. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Cheers, cheers. Let's make more money. Thank you for joining our Zoom. See you next Zoom Tuesday, okay? Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Yes. All the best.